Hello everybody, my name is Rodolfo Roman and I will be your instructor for the class. Welcome to System Analysis and Design. In this video, I just want to give you an introduction about the course and how the class is designed inside Blackboard. So let's actually get here it. As you can see right now, I'm in the main page. That main page is the star here element. Uh, you will see a really quick introduction of myself. You will see uh, well, my name. Where I'm located, where is actually the building that I am and the office that I am. And then the message platform, the way that we are going to be communicating here in the class. And I want to make really big emphasis in here. I suggest and actually I prefer to be communicating through Microsoft Teams. After we get through Microsoft Teams, and you can download it on your mobile device or you can download it on your computer. This is going to be the web page teams.microsoft.com it's really simple and you will need to have your STC credential so it's really important to have your STC credential available so I will create a group in there and in that team uh, everybody will have access so we can interact so that actually looks a little bit like this this is the introduction to the class and you will see that general message so you will enter here you will have the teams and you have the, the different channels so i will be provided different channels for different topics or probably for different weeks and we can have like a localized discussion in there and you can interact between yours too also if you go to the chat section to the chat section you can actually send me a direct message to myself so it doesn't to be private everything is going to be here it's like it's a public chat for the class and everything is going to send directly to the chat is actually the direct message that's going to be private communication so we can interact this is a really cool tool because it's not only allowed us to interact in real time to talk is the best way to to reach me but also allowed us to share files and allowed us to actually have other kind of interactions like uh, video conference or calls even we can screen share so we can troubleshoot remotely so i really hope that everybody get that tool you can download it through your phone. It's located um, in the app Microsoft uh, in the Apple Store. It's located in the Google Store, or you can go directly to the site and download it for your computer. Um, it's really cool. So after that, second way of the communication is going to be through my phone number or my email. So if you're unable to have your your application with you you can actually reach me through email i will reach to you as soon as possible i have a policy to respond in less than 24 hours but usually it does a lot shorter so i will try to respond as soon as possible every email that you send me but for speed i will prefer actually to use microsoft teams well after you've seen that well you're looking actually at this video the introduction video is going to be right there we have the essential course information the syllabus a student technical resource and accessibility and policies for the college so what i need you to do whenever you came to here is actually go through the information you need to go to every one of those classes of central core information you will see a little more information about, about myself and uh, you will see my resume you are interested to see what are my credentials and the the both books i want to be using for the class those books are actually free to use in using the college um, resources through through the library inside the safari bookstore so i actually gave the link for both of them and this one the learn python 3 the hard way they have a companion videos in in the in the o'reilly safari so i recommend you to actually use one um, if you want to purchase it's, it's up to you but it's not recommended you can actually have it free to the college. After that, you will see the PLOs, CLOs, and the guys on etiquette and everything that we have here, right? So go through this information. So whenever you go there, and then go to the syllabus, you will see the different dates. This will change depending on the semester that we are, of course, um, the grade policy and everything that we're going to be using here at the class. After going for each one of those, I will require to go to the course content. In the course content, you will see different weeks 
and those weights will have a different assignments. Those different assignments is usually do through so uh, through Sunday so every week, but I recommend you to jump on them as soon as possible and deliver those as soon as possible because uh, they will help us to reach you further if you have an issue in there. So if you try to reach me a Saturday, Sunday, last minute, to just to, you have a problem with your assignment, it's going to be a little more difficult if we try to look at those early on the week. There is some exceptions on the deadlines, and those exceptions are going to be in the course content, so be aware of those. I will be assigning different lectures. I will assign in different uh, chapters that you need to read from the books. Uh, probably once in a while we have some kind of discussion. Once in a while we will have some quizzes. Uh, we will almost always have um, a program assignment. And after we finish actually those program assignment, um, I will try to grade them as soon as possible to you guys. So you can actually go through the process, start here, and then to the course content. Every week I will open a new folder, and that folder have all the assignments and lectures that you need to do for that particular week. One way that I like to, to I like to teach is I not only give you the the, the chapters that you need to read, I not only give you the companion video that you need to solve, but I also usually do short videos showing the key concept of that particular way with some example how to be assigned. So in this course, System Analysis and Design, we're going to be learning Python. And the really cool thing about that is it's a really simple language. It's really easy to understand. It's really easy to, to learn. And we're going to start working with from basic to object-oriented. And at the end, we're going to be creating a simple game and we are going to be creating even a web page. So I will try to give you a really good uh, approach about all the course and everything that needs to be done. So again, any question, any doubt, please don't hesitate to reach me. Usually for through Microsoft Teams, if not through email, or even for my office phone number. If I'm not there, you can actually leave a message and I'll get to you as soon as possible. But meanwhile, Thank you for taking the class. Happy coding, everybody.